shoulders. It is lifted, and we got another package. We out here, and uh, yeah. So uh, we're gonna be a little enthusiastic today. Fuck the monotone Monday bullshit. I swear, and I will not censor myself. Even though I feel like I kind of have been recently, but you know, that's too much work. And if I do censor myself, it's for the sake of comedic value. It's not that I actually care. I hope you guys realize that. So, uh, you know, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm trying not to be monotone this time, because I know the past couple videos on my channel were, oh god, fucking, what is the door doing open? Okay, okay, well, let's see if we can get, okay, maybe not, maybe not. You know, I'm trying not to make these intro clips linger because I know that's kind of been a uh, common occurrence on my channel. Okay, get open, please. And, uh, I didn't get this from my normal seller of, uh, Pokemon boxes. The last couple guys I've been shouting out for boxes. Uh, for whatever reason, they didn't have a listing for the newest set to release in Japan. So I went elsewhere. Uh, there was another seller that I have previously bought singles from, and I went to him, and uh, Pokemon Shangri-La is what uh, kind of sponsored today's video. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to say I still don't know the name of the set, but uh, we got it, boys. Fuck, what is it called? Uh. <laughs> Why can't it give me a little battery warning when it's not popping up on screen in the middle of a recording? Yeah, well, we're opening the box. We're going to open our initial 15 packs as usual. And uh, maybe we'll pull the alternate art triple tag team. The second ever triple tag team to release to Pokemon. Aside from the legendary birds triple tag team. Uh, yeah, so my illiterate uninformed ass didn't know the name of this set that we're even opening up today but it's called Alter altered genesis alter genesis or altered genesis one or the one or the other whatever it says i don't, don't remember but i think it's alter genesis something like that but uh is it gonna come on these intro clips take way too long but uh, this is what the set looks like. I'm trying to keep the box in pristine condition. Gonna do what we always do, drop 15 packs. Leave that there, maybe I'll throw it in the back for a little display action for the backdrop. And let's see if we can pull the alternate art. Because unlike the hyper rares and whatnot, that's kind of what we go for these days. Hyper rare Charizards are an exception, but um, yeah, ooh, ooh, the Alolans we got some new artwork, and uh, hopefully I can do it justice by bringing these cards up close to the camera so you can get the real experience. A lot of Gen 5 stuff I'm seeing here, even though the legendaries are Sinnoh Pokemon. Alright, that's fine. And uh, yeah, so, new set from Japan. I think it released like maybe a week or two ago and it actually got to me pretty fast even though I uh, didn't have my expected seller provide the box. For the oh, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I got it in the first couple packs. I was afraid I wasn't going to get it. This is the only GX I cared about. <laughs> Yo, I we're starting it off with some heat, some real hits here boys okay this is getting a little weird uh let's not throw the packs there uh, okay we're gonna we're gonna throw you right there yeah how about that oh uh, but there's glare now uh okay who cares so many things to consider when you're filming a video like this ripping open packs in front of a camera okay and uh, at the point you're seeing this, uh, obviously Hidden Fates is kind of the hype right now. I have I have yet to check the target. Ooh, look at that statue. Um, I have yet to check the target that is kind of close to where I work. And uh, I feel like that's kind of what I need to do. I haven't been trying my hardest to get my hands on some Hidden Fates, but I know I really got to invest in some of that. 
I do have literally everything from Ultra Shiny that I care about. So regardless of what we pull from uh, what should we call it, the English hidden hidden fates. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. And we got a holographic lichen rock. That's kind of interesting. Up to no good. And maybe this will be the set. We pull two secret rares in a box. Still have yet to do so in these Japanese sets. We got another thing that's shiny on the... I pulled a second card off the back, which was not what I was supposed to do, apparently. Yeah, very nice hollow. Usually the hollows, like, you don't give a shit, but that was a good-looking, good-looking hollow. Yeah, it's crazy how the times have changed. Now it's ultra rare better, and we totally just got a, totally got a secret rare. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, boys. I hope it's a tag team. I hope it's a tag team. Ooh, okay. I thought we totally had a tag team here, but that's kind of cool. Look at the glare. Some interesting texturing. Not a very exciting looking card, but it is a secret rare gold card. Not a real gold card, but from what people have been calling gold cards recently. These are just secret rares, secret rare item things and trainer cards, but apparently everyone's calling them gold cards now. Okay, I'm trying to put you in the sleeve, buddy. I'm trying to be as delicate as possible. You can make it easier on yourself. Wow. Not a bad start. Just gonna go ahead and throw that there next to our triple tag team boys. And uh, tell me what you guys are thinking about this set. I mean, there isn't, to be fair, a whole lot that intrigues me. So compared to, say, like, what are we talking? Compared to Dream League... I'd definitely be leaning towards Dream League. Definitely. Remix Belt was alright. Miracle Twins was also insane. Sky Legends was insane. GGN was great because I loved every Pokemon that was a tag team in that set. And obviously Double Blaze at the bottom there is also super, super value in terms of boxes and whatnot. But yeah, all that's really in this set is like a Mega Lupunny has a tag team. We got a Probo Pass, who cares? Um, but yeah, it's all about the triple tag team action, as we saw in that first, second pack, I think it was, when we pulled it. But yeah, the triple tag team is where it's at. Nose Pass, something, and an Alolan Ninetales. Let's get a little up close action at the Hollow for you. Some cool looking art. Yeah. But the, like I was saying, the triple tag team is what you're aiming for. Uh, the hyper rare is nice and all, but where the real value is at is the alternate art. Because the three legendaries, as you've seen in some of these uh, commons and stuff, you'll see a little statue. Oh, and also something that's new. There's uh, tag team trainers. And if I were to have received the full art of this, I would have screamed. It's red and green tag team. And what will be red and blue tag team for English because for whatever reason they swapped the colors. I don't know why they'd fucking do that, but I'm not going to question Pokemon. They're out here doing some good shit. And yeah, we got an eight and a Flygon GX. We out here. Oh, wow. You know, it's got an interesting looking background that you can barely tell apart, but... That's another good one. Let's put it in a sleeve. Okay. Okay, our background's getting real cluttered. No, let's put you over here. Because, I mean, I can. Okay, that's not even in frame. What am I doing? Now it's in frame. Because we dictate how we run in it. And now it's gone. Okay. Alright, feels good to get a... A new set without waiting an entire year and a half. Shout out to Rhyme Style for getting his remix belt box three months late. No one cares anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just really unfortunate when that shit happens to you because, I mean, 
the first time I bought from the seller I kind of purchased from for this box today. Uh, I mean, this is the same seller that I got that, uh, okay, you probably haven't seen this at this time. Oh, God, you saw that. Okay. You probably haven't seen the video at this time, but I'm going to be doing a tag team related uh, unboxing. Maybe it'll be several parts, but I have just probably 50 tag teams I received in the mail and uh, involving the seller that I was trying to get at. The, this particular seller is the one who sold me my, uh, ooh, look at that art, is the one that sold me my uh, Garchomp and Giratina Hyper Rare tag team. And, uh, you know, it took a extra while to re receive that from the mail. And, you know, I was kind of getting sketched out. It took over a month to get to me, and I thought, you know, that was kind of abnormal. Because, I mean, with no tracking information, you can only, you can only expect so much. But I understand why things take so long, but at least a month after the day I purchased it and it's still not showing any sign of arrival, like, I was kind of concerned. So I messaged him directly and the dude sent another copy of the card because I was having some customer service kind of problem and, you know, they made it up to me. And that's why uh, Pokemon Shangri-La, I'll leave their link in the description. And, uh, yeah, Last Pack Magic, they're a trusted seller, and we are doing good in our box, so I guess that says something, too. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it didn't linger up to over 15 minutes, because I like getting the 15-minute mark for these 15-pack videos. I can give you a glimpse of the artwork. I get to sleeve and cherish my shinies. Oh, we got a Guzma! But, uh, yeah, I like to take my time with these kind of things. So hopefully you guys are enjoying what I have to provide for you guys. I'm already making a mess of the setup. Yep, you're getting the full spectrum of the Pokemon shenanigans. But, oh, you didn't see that. That's that's not PG. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. And I'll keep it up. So hopefully I'm going to keep repeating myself. All right. I'll catch you next time. It's been lifted. I'm out. Peace.